Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, if you are a user of Firefox, we have a new version of Firefox released today. Uh, first, if new features are not something that you really care about, there is in here 14 security flaws that have been fixed, many of them high severity. So just for security, uh, not a bad idea to move on to, of course, Windows, uh, to uh, Firefox, sorry, 95, um, to uh, make sure that you stay safe. So uh, to check it out, you go into the upper right corner in the menu, you go into Help, and About Firefox, and you should actually be moved to 95.0 as of this video. So what's new in here? Not a lot of front-facing features, really. Uh, one of them for um, playback of videos, if you actually uh, have in-screen uh, video, if you, for example, play videos and you want to have that uh, uh, on-screen video playing, um, what happens is that you can now move the controls uh, before they were fixed. So the in-picture mode would actually have fixed buttons and fixed menus that you can uh, now actually move uh, to the, the side of the screen that you want. The uh, biggest feature is a security feature that Firefox is actually saying it's going to be major for anybody that uh, wants to um, basically stay safe and, and it will prevent you from doing a lot of or having you know the chance of getting even zero days apparently and so uh, what are they well uh, it's a thing that uh, is called RL box it is a new feature implemented in the version 95 that actually has a, a component of sandboxing so that means that when you go to websites the there are five components of Firefox that are now isolated and will prevent any attacks of any kind, apparently, from actually getting out. Um, they put this as a step up in security that no other browsers have and that it actually makes Firefox the most secure browser of all. So um, what they actually do is they will compile the process that is in a you know, website and the scripts and all of the the things that actually run in there into uh, WebAssembly, and then they will convert it to native code. So apparently this is the best way to even prevent zero-day flaws from actually being exploited. Now, um, Firefox or Mozilla says that it won't be able to actually protect all modules of the browser. It doesn't mean you're 100% safe but it is a big step up and makes a big difference in what is the security basically so um, this is um, something that apparently uh, is now automatic so you don't have to activate it or do anything it happens in the background without you even noticing uh, so that is really the major feature running um, in the sandbox mode because it was already running in sandbox mode most browsers do that now but that added uh, security feature of the sandbox mode makes it even more secure according to Mozilla if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching